Hi, welcome to episode 32 of Talk About the Passion. I'm your host, Christian Campagna, and today's episode is called I'm So Bored with the USA. This is the first episode of the podcast that doesn't follow the, the usual uh, where did you grow up narrative. I'm happy about this. I love doing the one-on-one interview style conversations, but have been uh, thinking of doing different style ones for a bit now to mix it up a little. I've been trying to get together with Hank Purse to have him tell his story, and I hope uh, you know we can still make that happen at some point. But he presented me uh, with this idea to have him and Mark uh, talk about a backpacking trip they took around Europe in October of 1988. This being the 30th anniversary of that trip, it seemed like the perfect idea. Uh, this is one of the favorite episodes uh, to record that I've done. Uh, both Mark and uh, Mark had a bunch of photographs with him. Uh, Hank had his journal, uh, daily planner thing from that era, and uh, it was great to see all of that tied together uh, with the stories they told, so that was cool. Uh, A couple more things before we begin. I'm on social media, mainly Facebook and Instagram. I am active and try to stay current on both, especially Instagram. Uh, I post a lot of pictures and videos related to guests and that kind of thing. A lot of fun, I swear, let me tell you. Uh... Just look up Talk About the Passion podcast on either, and you should be able to figure it out. If you can't, uh, I'm terribly sorry about that. You can hear this podcast on Apple Podcasts, Podbean, Google Play, Spotify, and uh, most places you listen to podcasts at. If you or someone you know would like to be on an upcoming episode or have an idea for an episode, you can contact me at either one of those social media sites and we can talk. Okay, so... This episode, as different as it was, uh, there wasn't the usual amount of talk about music. A little bit, but not not like there usually is. I felt bad about that, so I thought I'd offer a gift to you. Well, you being the person who wins this uh, contest here. Uh, you do have to listen to the episode, though. So here's the question. Uh, which D.C. area band did Hank and Mark meet up with at one point? Uh, the first person to email me at talkaboutthep at gmail.com. That's talk about the letter P at gmail.com. Uh, what you win is a brand new copy of the Triple X fanzine book uh, Mike Gitter and uh, Chris from Bridge Nine put together. Uh, if you're a fan of this podcast or, you know, a lot of the music we talk about on this podcast, which is, you know, basically hardcore in the 80s, you'll love this book. And, you know, that's certainly not all we talk about on this, but there's definitely a a slant towards that world. Uh, You know, it's a big part of my life and uh, still is. Uh, And this book's amazing. It's filled with uh, reprints from uh, Triple X Fanzine, which was, uh, you know, one of the two big uh, zines in Boston, Triple X and Suburban Voice, uh, which was initially called Suburban Punk. Uh, You know, we had Forced Exposure and uh, Smash and a couple other zines, but uh, these two were were always uh, at the top of the the heap, I think. Uh, And uh, one one of the highlights of Triple X was always the amount of great photographs, and there's some uh, amazing shots in there, uh, including yours truly. Uh, There's a picture of me on stage at uh, TT the Bears wearing a, uh, a... unfortunate denim vest at a uh, meat men show, which I think uh, Tesco V was wearing one as well that night, so I guess it wasn't that bad. Uh, so yeah, uh, answer this question, which DC area band did Mark and Hank meet up with? And the first person to email me at talkaboutthep at gmail.com, I'll send you the book. Uh, it's a great book, and uh, you know, if you don't win, you should definitely go buy a copy because it's uh, worth the price. It's, a, it's an awesome book. Anyway, let's get to this episode. Uh, I think you're going to love it uh, as much as we did recording it. So thanks for listening. And uh, here we go with episode 32, I'm So Bored with the USA. Hello. Uh, so I'm here with my friends uh, Mark McKay and Hank Purse. And uh, if you guys want to introduce yourselves, just so people know your voices hi, in here. Hi, Mark. I'm Hank. Hi, Hank. I'm Mark. <laughs> and uh, you guys are friends for years now. Mm-hmm. And uh, you worked with Slapshot and Hank. And Mark, you were in Slapshot. Yep. And uh, your friendship was built before that, obviously. And 
it blossomed long yeah. before that. It's true. <laughs> but uh, but what we're uh, here to talk about today is uh, you guys backpacked around Europe. That's right. Thirty years. Thirty Woo! years. <laughs> and we're still alive. God, unbelievable. And here we are talking about it. Yeah. Yeah. We had, we had hoped to actually put on um, a slideshow for our families, but um, they they uh, <laughs> wouldn't let us do that. No. No. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I was told expressly, no, under no circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> so instead, you said yes. And yeah. so, thank you. And uh, we're talking about the. Um, the wine of uh, northern Italy and um, what? No. <laughs> the vineyards. Of I think we were whining in northern yeah, Italy. That's, that's true. <laughs> so how did how did you come up with the idea to uh, to want to travel to Europe? Had either of you been there before? I had been there. But my mom is British, and so we'd been to Northern Ireland and to England, um, and um, uh, years and years ago. And, and so then um, we. Uh, I was like, I failed out of UMass Amherst, and was um, I had a bunch of other like smaller, you know, little jobs doing, did some touring, um, uh, but then I, I I spent a whole year painting houses, and I was like, I'm gonna have all this money saved up at the end of the of you know of, of this summer, and I should go to Europe. That's what you should do, right? You should get yeah. it back, you know, and. Um, uh, and Mark, for, to, for you, I forgot of this, and you, you reminded me that, Elton, you went, yeah, and I invited myself along. Right, exactly, yeah, because Hank <laughs> was saying, I'm going to take a backpacking trip for Europe. And I went, what a great idea. Can I come? Yeah. You know? Um, Which was awesome, yeah. I, I, he said yes immediately. It wasn't yeah. even a thought. So I was, uh, I, was, I was pretty stoked. And I had done the same thing. I was, like, trying to do Slapshot full time. I had moved back home with my folks. Mm-hmm. So I was just working and saving money just right. for nothing, but you know, just you know, just because he wasn't spending any money, <laughs> right, just right. doing the band. Yeah. And um, yeah, so so we're like, all right, and so you know, I remember us running around beforehand, like, okay, we should get like, <laughs> no planning. I mean, that's I think that's, right. that's like <laughs> a classic MO of, of of me anyway, and and of kind of going like. Well, oh, so okay, we need to get a youth hostel. So we, that's you know, we have to stay in youth hostel. We have to get this the Let's Go book, right? Which, yeah, is, which yeah. has like you know, Let's Go Europe, which is, um, which was this book that you know we, we carried it around with us. We we read through it, you know, and it, it lists all these like the things to do in these different cities, and like places to stay, and um, it was it's all basically it was all put together by basically by Harvard students, yeah, yeah. which you know. You think, oh, I'm I'm 22 and they're 22. This is great. But then you, <laughs> later on, you think like they're Harvard students. They have like a whole different, you know, expectation right. of things that they're going to see and do. Um, but we had that book, and um, I was like, all right, so it's going to cost. We just we, we just saw $270 round trip from uh, from New York to, to to Frankfurt, Germany. The URL pass. Mark's hat. You've got yours out. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, I can't remember how much that cost. Um, I think it was incredibly expensive, like ridiculously cheap. But yeah. For us at the yeah. time, we were like, "Oh, well, I guess you have to have it." So. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. And um, uh, and we what else? We had to get a um, uh, we'd go to um, the French um, consulate to get a, a visa because yeah. at that point France was thought that um, foreigners were bringing HIV to um, uh, to France. I think it really was just big money. Grab. They made everyone, <laughs> everyone going to France had to get a visa. Yeah, they yeah. grabbed our money. Yeah, they grabbed our money, right? And then um, and they were like, okay. And so we took a bus to New York and stayed with our, our, our pal uh, Wrecking Machine at his dad's house, mm-hmm. dad's apartment. And then um, uh, and we set out. Yeah. Right? I just, I, want, I don't want to understate the importance of the Let's Go Europe book, which was, yeah. was like, it was the Bible for for getting there because, um, of course, there was no internet. There was right. No yeah, you didn't have a phone. To, so, yeah. So this thing was, you know, was probably a six-pound book. Yeah. And that this, you just had to have. It was, yeah. It was our analog internet right. because you know you can plan your entire trip around it. Yeah. Or you can just kind of pick and choose. But um, yeah, that thing got us out of every scrape. We and were in. and yeah. this is uh, 1988. We're talking. 1988. Exactly. So you guys were both. Uh, 22. I was 22. 22. Yeah. Yeah. 23. Yeah. And um, yeah, and and uh, it was it's really funny. I was I was hoping that I still had like my copy upstairs, but I, but I don't. <laughs> if, you know, just it was sure long ago. Just get stuff into like a, some wet boots to dry them out or something. Um, but um, uh, but it was it was you know, and we, and we spent all this time like reading it, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, so so we <laughs> let's, let's, so we we fly to Frankfurt, and we're just psyched. We're like, yeah, we're gonna go to Europe. We're you know, yeah. on this plane. It, mu- it must have been like. 
um, uh, it, w- it wasn't like a, it, it wasn't on Delta. It wasn't on, it was just like some people who, uh, you know, were like, all right, we have enough money to, to ha- fly. So it was a bunch of other like te- yeah. you know, young adults on, on this right. plane. We landed in Frankfurt. And I remember, like, it was only as we were landing that we went, where are we going to go first? Yeah. <laughs> did, so did you it didn't not really occur have... to us? Like, yeah. what, what to do once we got there? Right. <laughs> we had no idea. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I remember, uh, we, was at, we were literally at the, at, the, at the carousel picking up our, our, our bags and stuff. And these other people were like, oh, you know, um, I don't know if they were going to Interlaken in Switzerland, but they said like that they heard it's a, it's a good place, you know, so we thought like, okay, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And I think the, <laughs> the people just went, all right, and I and I, I just remember, I think it was a, a, um, a like a male female couple, and they said this, and we're like, well, okay, <laughs> you know, like it sounds European. Let's sounds go European. there. Yeah, you know, because we thinking, because you know, we we had a few dates that we knew we wanted to meet up with some other friends, right. or, You know, some band, you know, some bands on tour and some other some other friends, um, but we were like, okay, so basically we've got like ten days or maybe a week between. Um, when we landed and when we needed to be back in Hamburg, and we were like, should we go like north to Switzerland and Sweden, or should we go like south to, you know? And we went south. We did. And and, <laughs> and you guys had toured with Slapshot already, so you sort of had. So this was a completely different type of trip where, when you're touring, you have to be somewhere at a certain time. It's a very rigid schedule. So it, it's true, but 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 for me, this kind of seemed like a, a natural progression. It was yeah. like. When you're touring, you know you have a van, yeah. but everything you own is still in a bag. Yeah, you know? yeah. So yeah. this time the bag is just on your back, and, yeah, the, yeah. and the 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 locomotion changes every time. Whether right. It's going to be a you know your feet or a train or you know what whatever. Um, but it just seemed like you know with touring, what we were doing was driving around, meeting people, and playing shows and things. And we were you know on this trip, we were driving around to meet people. And right. Yeah. Just we didn't have to play yeah. yeah yeah right 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 and yeah so uh, you didn't have to be somewhere like right. at seven every yeah, night yeah. to load as, in or as whatever. evidenced by what hank was saying we didn't we didn't even know where we were going yeah so. yeah so you didn't have to <laughs> you didn't have to step on it is what you're no. say. sorry did not, did not see that coming <laughs> well it's me you, you know <laughs> make those. as a matter of fact like we, we we just had money in our pocket cash yeah in our pocket and and we would go, we would come back when the money ran out. Yeah, that yeah. was the, that was, that was like the, the only thing we knew. Yeah, and, and I think some fr- some friends had I, I, I had some friends who had gone to like Czechoslovakia and they're like, I was living on three dollars a day and <laughs> having a great time. And we're like, maybe we should go to East and right. you know because we you know I think we must have had like a thousand bucks, maybe fifteen hundred dollars on it. You yeah, know, right. and um, uh, which it wasn't you know we, we were not living on three dollars a day. You know? No, 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 no. Yeah, no, and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it was, but it was good, you know. And and um, uh, the only thing too I, that I remember on that first day, you know, traveling from Frankfurt down to Interlaken in Switzerland, was um, that in, we must have just looked like like hicks in some in some ways, yeah. just like faces glued to the windows. Yeah, yeah. Probably like Mark, look, <laughs> I see a mountain goat. My, my, I'm looking, I see the mountain. What are you talking? They're like us <laughs> running back and forth, and like the trains all looked like like the the Hogwarts Express, <laughs> you know, like those little side <laughs> yeah, cars. Yeah, yeah. They're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, we get to Interlaken and um, uh, and we sort of like all right we get on the train we sort of hike up there's signs everywhere for the, the youth hospital we're like excellent and we go in there and we realize I think we realized pretty quickly that the reason why they, that these other people knew about it was because the place was just filled with Americans and yeah. filled with Amer- like and filled with like um, not I don't know. I think we kept looking for people like us, you know. Right. And instead, it was just like sorority girls, <laughs> and, and they were all. And it was all. I think it was also a place where people, a lot of Americans, went sort of at sort of towards the end of their time, right. because all they wanted to do was speak in English. They were watching. There's a horrible movie that night. Were, it, was, it was some like stupid yeah. like you know movie was playing right. at home, but they're all gonna watch it. And I was like, so they wanted to be back home. Yeah, and I was like, you guys were so it was completely yeah, we were, different. Right. And I remember like being shocked that we had to like get coins to uh, to take a shower. We had to put like money in a like a like a you know, it was like almost like a phone box right. to get hot water. You know, <laughs> Mark, I need to know, Mark, I need another, another Mark for the oh, you know whatever. Um, and um, uh, Kroner or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, funny money. Give me some of that funny money. Oh god, it was funny. And then, but then. Um, uh, 
we met uh, Willie the next morning. What do you talk about Willie? Because I think that was a good. He was he was a good uh, he was a good omen for us. Yeah, absolutely. The experience in the in the hostel, um, you know, re regardless, you're, you're just thrust even into a room with other people. Yeah. Everybody stays together and it's mm -hmm. very communal and all that yeah. stuff. So everybody eats together and etc. So we met this Australian guy whose name was Willie, mm -hmm. and um, he was going up. Yeah, you got a little photograph of him right there. Um, he was going for a hike that day, and he said, "Oh, well, let's take a little hike up in the mountains." So, mm -hmm. so Hank and I just, you know, befriended this guy, and, yeah. and we took a walk up into the mountains. And he was he was super nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is right there. Oh, nice. I mean, not a punk rock guy, you know, but he was just kind of a cool like he was a traveler. That's what he yeah. did, you know. I don't think he was on vacation. He was just, you know, he just, just traveled. traveled. So, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> So that was our, fir our first nice. experience. Like when we showed up at the at the hostel, was like, "Hey, dudes, welcome to right. the hostel," you know? <laughs> and we're like, yeah. "Oh no, you know, we were at least expecting some sort of European experience." Right. But um, and that's some surfer guy from yeah San Jose. Or yeah, Canada. right, exactly. Yeah. So I guess you can't stand, surf in San Jose, can you? Uh, Is it on the beach? I think you can. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. Sidewalks. Yeah, sidewalks. <laughs> And uh, so you know, and that was great. And and and, and you know, what was it? the Yungen How? What was the name of the mountain there? Oh, um, Yungen something. Anyway, but we were like, we went hiking, and we were like, should we hike the mountain? And, and we did, the, but then we were like, then we had to stay here another day. Right. You know, and like, <laughs> we were like, because we were like, because we, we were gonna meet up with Dinosaur Junior in Hamburg, like on the wait, I have it, I have it in this in my oh address my book. Oh my god, look day. at that. Um, uh, let's see, October twenty first, Hamburg. Um, so uh, we so we had um, well I guess I guess it was, it was probably like um, twelve days. Yeah. Like, all right. No. Let's we, we let's see Europe. We've had right. twelve days to see Europe. Let's not just hang out in one place. Yeah. Um, right. Because this thing got this thing got validated on the tenth. I mean, on the fourteenth of October was yeah. the first year Royal Pass. So that was the first day. So yeah, a week. Nice. That was great. It was fun. <laughs> and then so then we um, um, so then we were like, let's go to Italy. You know, like we little head south, yeah. and like yeah, right. So yeah. we, we went to Milan, and I'll, and we didn't stay in Milan. I don't think. I think we just we just stopped in Milan. Right. I mean, we're, I'm we're hiking around Milan with our backpacks, and we both had gotten. Um, uh, uh, we were both wearing like big steel cap boots. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And those Georgia boots. Those right. Georgia boots. That's yeah. right. Right. And over everyone looking at us like. And this is kind of a theme that that he's touching on here. Yeah. We we passed through Milan. Okay. So. <laughs> Just, just remember passing through cities. Lot, you know? <laughs> totally, yeah. Things that people get. Oh my gosh! Oh, when you were in Milan, did you do this? No, no, no. no. <laughs> we were just going, just going through. I think we bought yeah. a jar of peanut butter there. I think oh, that was about oh. it. So. <laughs> <laughs> but we said we're gonna go to Florence and um, uh, and and because um, uh, uh, you know it's a center of art of the arts. Right, so right. We go to Florence, and that was I think it was on. I, I think I, I read it here that I think it was on this trip where we met all the Moroccans on the train. Um, we met them when we were heading to Barcelona. Oh, was that what it was? Yeah, because we were heading, we were heading. Um, I think that I think, I think that was on. I think it was. We ended up in Barcelona, and that's where we stopped because we were like, "This is." Yeah, geez, I don't, I don't remember, it, yeah, but I think that was it. You're, I think you're right. Okay, so we'll talk about the Moroccans in a little. Yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> I mean, once again, just a lovely like. The interactions of, of just meeting like people who are like, hey, we're the same age. You right. Know? In some ways, it was kind of like you know being a kid. I mean, Jerry Seinfeld I think has a yeah. whole sh spiel about like you know when you're a kid, you know when you're young, you open the front door and whoever's out front, oh, you're my friend. That's, it was, yeah, it was yeah. the same sort of thing of like, yeah. hey, we're on this train together, both in our twenties, yeah. and you know. But yeah, so we got, went to Florence, and we um, uh, and then we and we saw the David, yep. right? And yep. we saw all the other you know, and anyone who's ever been there, you realize that most of uh, most of that museum is just filled with plaster casts of other people's shit yeah. you know but they but they they own the, the david so they're like oh no right. we're gonna stretch it out here you go yeah, okay yeah. and you walk in and you kind of go oh yeah. well look at that that's oh, okay and then you walk out you're like oh, oh that's it oh we're, we're out now <laughs> just wait to the egress right <laughs> that's right and um uh i guess we stayed in the youth hostel right I think that, I think that I, I do remember staying staying there at a hostel i think it was like one down one of those really skinny streets um, maybe on the second floor, um, I remember waking up and looking out onto the cobblestone street. I mean, it was yeah. really like picturesque and beautiful. And I think we got pizza on the street there, right outside the hostel too. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't have a lot of recollection. Just kind of flashes of, of, of memories of those streets. So. 
but, and we were like, okay, should we stay in Italy and go to Rome or should we, like, we got to see the rest of Europe, man. So, all right, we're going to go, we're like, we're, let's go to France. Yeah. Let's go, let's go to Nice, right? Nude beaches, right? Where, you know, <laughs> a couple of boys from Boston, <laughs> they're nude beaches. Like, forget that it's October. But right. We're like, yeah, all right. And so, and over, so we, we got on the train um, and um, we're like, you know, on this train and, and, um, and the, the, I think the one stop I remember us, the train taking was in Pisa, and we're like, wow, you know, so we're, at, you know, remember the train pulled into the station, like Pisa, you know, we're like, oh, wow, you know, like, you know, it, it's like a 10 minute, 15 minute stop, or like, you know, yeah. we're like, okay, well, I was like, wow, I wonder if, you know, if, I wonder if the, the, you know, the tower is, is nearby here. And I, I was looking at the train window going, like, no, I was, I just did a station. You'd see it, you'd see it. There'd be like signs for it. No, okay. And, um, uh, and we like so we stay on the train and as the train like literally as soon as the train moved like sort of you know like a hundred feet you look over and there there it was it was like oh it's across the street from the train station <laughs> oh there it is oh, we actually could run out and get right. pictures <laughs> okay all right well there there it is okay yeah. and you know and, and um uh, and we I remember we arrived in in France and um, when we we talked to other people they're like oh where were you guys coming from like well we were just in Italy they're like no 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 all the trains just went on strike in Italy. I'm like, what? Like, yeah. and it ended up that we, we missed, like we cut the last train out of Italy for the next two weeks. Oh, wow. Cause it was like some, you know, yeah. some, some big Rail strike. strike yeah, yeah. You're like, oh my God, we would have been trying to like hitchhike out of Italy. <laughs> and it's know? interesting because we didn't, when we passed P- Pisa and didn't get to see the tower, we didn't say, let's go back. We were just like, okay, like we just got to keep moving forward. We missed yeah, yeah. our opportunity. It's probably good we did. We would have been totally stuck in Pisa for two weeks. Exactly. <laughs> Right, making making instruments out of like cigar boxes, <laughs> making for change. Yeah, would have been a whole different uh, story. Yeah, that's yeah. For sure. yeah, definitely. And that's when I sold my gold too. Yeah. Right, and <laughs> um, the URL pass was really great because you just you, you pay one price in advance and you get this card and you can come, you can just jump on any train. Yeah, with, you know whoever's participating in the in the system for as long as the the ticket goes. So, nice. Um, it was a good thing. It was really was you know this, uh, this amazing thing. So, so then we, we we arrive in Nice and we're like, all right, and let's go down to the beach, right? So first of all, we're like sweaty and big boots and like I don't even know if I packed shorts. I don't think I did, but uh, no, you know, no, yeah, you know, long pants and t-shirts, but and of course the varsity jackets, and our, yeah. <laughs> slap shot jackets, right, yeah, right. Nice. Which def- yeah, I think that definitely attracted attention. People like what? Yeah. crazy Americans, um, and we go down there, and the only the only person I remember. Uh, on that on that beach was some old man with um, uh, who was naked, and that was uh, an unfortunate sight. That was like, the yeah, nude oh. beach. Yeah, like okay, let's let's get off this beach. Was, now we know what nude beach really means. Yeah, yeah. It's like oh yeah. right, it's naked to everybody. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> we went to Con too. We went. We, there was a short. Con was very was oh, very close right. too. So we I think we just took like a. Surface rail to Khan or something, and it was much the same. You know, it was yeah. just St- a very stony beach. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And just a long stretch. And I think we went to like a flea market there too. There was like some, oh, uh, like a street fair where everybody was just selling junk up and down the street. So we were walking around going, okay, uh, I guess. <laughs> right. There was no. There was, yeah. There was no junk that we really needed it or could really no. carry. Or could carry. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's also where we met um, the Yugoslavian guys. Was it? Was it? Was that? Was that in France? That's, that? that's correct. Because yeah. we stayed in a. Um, in a it was a hotel actually. I don't think it was a hostel. We yeah. stayed in a hotel with those guys. And they, they were these just just these guys who were. Um, uh, I'm trying to think where they. Um, like how, I think they just started talking to us. You know, like oh hey, you know where do you you know where are you guys going? And yeah, another thing I just don't remember meeting these guys. We just you know we ended up traveling a little bit with them and staying with them. And they were, um, uh, I'm, 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 I'm right now thumbing through my, my address book, looking yeah, for, their, yeah. for their addresses. Yeah, their names are lost, lost, to, yeah, exactly. lost to my history, for sure. Um, and the, and they, I remember they were like, oh, yes, well, we are both in the Yugoslavian military, but we went, um, I don't know what the word is, AWOL? You know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we decided to come here, and we're like, that's excellent, all right. Ooh, you know, that's they, they, oh, that's, they, they, that's awesome. <laughs> And um, which which was great, you know, and, and so they were um, just these God, just great guys, they were really yeah. super super sweet and and fun, and um, and they were um, super like glad to like you know to pitch in with us because we all paid for this hotel together. Yeah, we got up and then we were like all right, let's go to let's go to Barcelona. Mm-hmm. Um, once again, just kind of going like we, we want to see as much of Europe as possible, 
And so we went to um, uh, the train where we met all the Moroccans who were like, we, so it was one of these things like, all right, there's, you know, six, it, maybe six or eight little spaces in one of those little train compartments, yeah. about like a Hogwarts Express co- train compartment. And so it's Mark and I, and then all these uh, guys from Morocco um, who start talking to us and, um, uh, and they're like, please come to Morocco. You've got to yeah. come to Morocco. You know, and there was, you know, of course it was like, wow, we went to Europe and Africa. Like that was yeah. an excellent, oh, know. you know, yeah. but we didn't do that. Um, but these guys were, were begging for us <laughs> to, to come with them. Everything yeah. in Morocco is so cheap. You have to come and, you know. Which was totally, the, <laughs> totally the, what we're like, well, it's really cheap there. Yeah. And all of a sudden, like the, like the cheap Yankees were like, <laughs> really? Yeah. How cheap? Sounds like a great idea. How cheap? And, and, and they were, and they were, they were amazing at doing um, a tabulation of, of, um, uh, of how much money uh, things cost in 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 uh, in American cash from from whatever the the dinar is or whatever it was, and um, so they would <laughs> talk about like their bags. Oh yeah, he, the, 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 one one guy in particular, I think he was the guy who was talking to us most, or he was the least the most animated out of the bunch. Um, he had this like fine tooled leather satchel that he was carrying, <laughs> yeah. and one of the things he was just like. If you come to Morocco, you can buy a bag like this, and this bag is, would cost you. Uh, and he does the calculation in his right. head. You can see him doing the calculations. Four dollars, and we were like, four dollars for an awesome leather satchel. Maybe yeah. we should go yeah. to uh, Mor- Morocco. We were like, like such tools, <laughs> like walking around like this hand handcrafted yeah. leather bag. Right. We like, but it was so cool because you know we didn't we didn't know these people, and we will never yeah, see yeah. these people again. But right. As we're traveling. Um, we were experiencing kind of what we experienced in the scene back in Boston. It's yeah. like, if you see somebody that's like you, you kind of gravitate yeah, towards of them course. immediately. Yeah. And these people weren't like us, yeah. but they were traveling just the same. So yeah. we're in that same situation. So yeah. all of a sudden, you are like them. Yeah. You know? so, I've traveled uh, across this country on train uh, a few times. And yeah, when you're stuck with people for three days, yeah. four days regardless of what your background is yeah. you're gonna you're stuck with them and you, right. you talk to people you yeah. know some people don't want to talk to you but you know I, I met so many cool people just from that i never would have met or associated with be, because i was trapped on this train with yeah. them yeah uh, absolutely and also traveling amtrak around the u.s is a nightmare <laughs> also i would never do it again at this point yeah have never it's, have never done that yeah, honestly um you know, maybe the train situation in Europe was a nightmare too, but we were so um, enthusiastic. Yeah. We didn't and care that we missed trains or the trains were crowded or whatever. Yeah, yeah. We were just and hanging out. So. There's cooler stuff to see where, where the train tracks go here. You know, it's mostly oh, in the middle of nowhere. We so we traversed over the cliffs of Italy, you know, as we yeah. were going, you know, yeah. to, to Nice and Cannes and all that stuff. Yeah. It's just, it just blows your mind. You Much know? more exciting than the entire state of Nebraska. Or whatever, right, you know? right. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> very, 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 very true. No offense, Nebraska. Yeah, sorry. Exactly. For all, your, all the Nebraska. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listeners, yeah. Listeners. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, so, 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 but we, we arrive. So, remember, we, we take the train. Um, we're taking the train, and then the train reaches the Spanish border, and um, the Yugoslavian guys get pulled off. And, um, and we're like, oh, crap. Like, yeah. what's going on? You know, because it, it, it's also, you know, pre European Union, when you, like, every time you crossed into a different country, they'd come, someone would come, come yeah. on the train, check out your passport, you mm-hmm. know, get stuff stamped, that sort of thing. And then we, um, we, uh, um, and so these guys were taken off the train. And we're like, oh, crap, what's going on? And, yeah. you know, and, and um, uh, you know, we, and we had plans to meet up at this one youth hostel. And um, I was like, oh, I hope, you know, like, I, I I think the train left. I think I think our train left without them. I think yeah. They, yeah, they were they were in the, you know, and then we, but we met back up and we're like, why did they take you off the train? The guy said, we're from Yugoslavia. We're communists. <laughs> and I was like, oh right, yeah, yeah. right. That's still, that thing's still a thing, yeah. you know. The whole Eastern Bloc was still like a, a block, you yeah. know, for a, another year. Mm-hmm. But right. It was such a, a weird, huh. um, such a weird thing for us to to like sort of experience that. Like, oh, it's, it seems so like. Passe, just you know, I mean, right. we, we, so we really understood that when we were in Berlin, but yeah. that was such a crazy thing. But these, we met up with these guys again in, 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 uh, at the youth hostel in Barcelona, which was like on the like whatever the big, the big like walking thing was. And I think it had, and, they, and Barcelona had just been uh, named as the site of like the 1990 winter uh, summer Olympics, or whatever. Oh, it was yeah, like yeah. It. and um, so they were like, oh, the police are cleaning everything up. And, we looked around going like, 
They're not doing a good enough this job yet. Yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and, um, but it was great. And I remember, the, the one thing I remember about the oh, – I remember a few things about this youth hostel we stayed at. One was that they said, oh, the boys the, – you know, the, 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 the boys' locker room is upstairs. We went upstairs, and it was like 40 different um, – um, uh, 40 different um, bunk beds all in there. And I remember we opened the door. Step on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, – uh, we opened the door and it was like the smell of of um uh stinky like teenagers was like overwhelming it was like oh oh wow and you then, remember that i remember that yeah i remember too yeah and like and, and like and, and, and the um the the smell uh, and, but, and even like the, the doors were open out and i was like well, let's go outside the balcony you know but we we're like all right but the, the yugoslavian guys were like come on let's go out and we we're like all right so we went out with them we were not nice. This is this the youth hostel was up here. I'm just showing yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. photo now. The photo the youth hostel was in this building here. Yeah. This was this giant courtyard where we just uh, you know, we just yeah, yeah. sat for a little while. Yeah. It was beautiful. Huh. And then we um um uh we came back with, from these guys and, and I think we were like Yeah, I think we I think like we can gotta take a nap and, and then the Yugoslavian guys were like, Come on. Uh, they, 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 like we, we, we're gonna go to a champagne bar. We met some girls. We're gonna go to the champagne bar. It's girls from California. Yeah. Uh, and Smart and I were like, okay. So it was us, the Yugoslavian guys, these two uh, young women from California, and then maybe a couple other people, and like a champagne bar. And Mark, and Mark and I are like, well, we don't really drink, but yeah. like, we'll, we'll go, we'll go along. So it's, it's dark, and we went to this place, and it was like this, I mean, literally a hole in the wall. It was a bunch of like weird, like meat hanging from like from hooks. Yeah. Yes, know? that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and like. I think we both got like a hot dog, and yeah, like some sausage or hot dog yeah. or something. Like and so that, we're yeah. eating hot dogs, and 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 everyone else is eating hot dogs and drinking champagne. Yeah. Mark and I were just like, this is really, like bizarre. a really bizarre thing. And then um, it's like being on Lansdowne Street, yeah, you know, yeah. with minus the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> and it, and the, and it was a it was a it was a little old lady too, who's like who I think um, uh, I just remember like this very like everyone else was like in their early twenties, and then this ancient woman like yeah. with the tongs. You know, <laughs> And um, and then we um, uh, and then the um, they're like, oh, the the, the Yugoslavian guys like, oh, you know, the beach is very close, and you know, and and and, and they're they're talking up these two two uh, Californian girls, so Mark's like, all right, all right, we'll go down to the beach, and you know, on the Mediterranean, okay, all right, and 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 I think you and I were like, well, we should at least put our feet in the Mediterranean, so I guess we you know, yeah, and we get down there, and it's just strewn with trash everywhere, <laughs> yeah. And um, we, we had our tetanus shots before we left. Exactly, yeah. We yeah, right. exactly. We did, I, you know, we did un, un laser boots to do, do that. Um, and um, while we're putting our boots back on, all of a sudden we hear, we hear the screaming, and we look over, and it's, it's, the, two, uh, it's the two California girls. We're like, wah! And I was like, what? Like, I have this, like, all of a sudden, the, the scene from Jaws. I'm like, what, what's wrong? They're like, right. oh, we're doing primal screams. And, and the Yugoslavian guys, I remember one of them was like, they're doing primal screams, Hank. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, okay. Yeah. And we're like, you know, we're heading back. We're going to right. you know, you, you guys primal scream. So we, yeah. we go back, go to sleep. Primal and, scream. Primal <laughs> screams, yeah. And um, do you want to tell the next part of the, the, when we woke up the next morning, when, the, when they woke us up, the Yugoslavian guys woke us no, up? No, 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 no. You tell this so perfectly. I'm going to let you run with it. This, this we're, is... we're woken up the next morning by the Yugoslavian guys going, Hank, you must... You must wake. You you must help us. You you Mark must help. Must wake up. Must help us. We're like, well, what's wrong? What you know, like Mark, you know. And he's like, well, what is? It? What's going on? They said uh, we are in big trouble. Like, wh what happened? Well, these communists are in trouble again. Right. Like, oh God, now what? <laughs> That's you know? totally, exactly. Like, where? Yeah, exactly. You know, we'll so, fight for you. <laughs> all right, man. What's what's going on? And um, it, uh, they said uh, uh, last night, but after you you know you guys came back to bed and. and um, you know, we were you know, making out with the, the, the Californian girls, and um, I take uh, uh, I take one of the girls into the bathroom. I'm like, which one? He goes, the, the larger one. And um, we go into the bathroom, and uh, we are you know having the sex, <laughs> and all of a sudden the sink breaks off the wall, <laughs> and she is screaming, and there's water flying everywhere, and everyone in the whole youth hostel comes and looks at us. <laughs> it wakes up everyone in the youth hostel. Everyone but you and Mark. <laughs> and at this point, I was like, "What?" So I, I jump up, run out to the bathroom, and sure enough, there's the sink, like smash. just smashed on the ripped off the wall. And he's like, "I was like, do you need money? Like, what is it?" He said, "What we're going to do is, you know, when you check into the youth hostel, they actually take your youth hostel card from you." Yeah, yeah. And he said, um, uh, uh, 
the, but the box where all these little car, all the cards are, are um, uh, is right on the desk. So I will start speaking to the manager over here, and if you and Mark could s- go and take out our youth hostel cards, and we're like, okay, <laughs> yeah, all we right. can do that. <laughs> then, all right, you know. So we we did this, and I I'm re- and 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 um, uh, and so well, one of the guys was like explaining to the the uh, youth hostel manager. <laughs> His line was, um, I was simply. Uh, in the bathroom, brushing my teeth, leaning on the sink, while brushing my teeth, and it breaks off the wall. <laughs> like, it is not my fault. Right. <laughs> we're, like, we're like, that's the best, you know. Uh, moments before, it was all about like spraying water and condoms, and just, right. you know, and um, uh, and uh, and so we, were, we 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 snuck it out, and then we ran downstairs because we had already checked out. We snuck it out, snuck out their their cards, and like handed it off to the other guy. Yeah, Gert. Like, I don't know, the, the name Garrett is stuck in my head, I don't know. He's the, one of the guys I met in Belgium. Oh, that's what it was, oh, that's what it was, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, uh, um, and uh, we, we handed off the things, like, oh, thank you so much. We're like, yeah. all right, man, best of luck, and, you know, like, there we, we, yeah. we, we, we committed a crime in Spain yeah. <laughs> with, with two communists, and, uh, and we're like, that's great, and then we, and we just got on the next train to Paris, Yeah. and um, <laughs> it was, that was, like, the most... That was one of the more exciting things. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I know. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't say that because people listening to this might be going like, "Oh my God! If this is the, the most exciting thing, <laughs> some drunk wait till you hear what happened later. Oh my exactly, God! Exactly right. Wait, 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 wait till we tell you about Belgium. <laughs> and and we arrive in Paris once again. Here's here's another example of us uh, in in amazing cities. Um, just passing through. Just passing through. Yeah. And like our whole experience of Paris was walking from one train station to the next. Yeah, that's yeah. correct. Yeah. From Paris Ost to, or, you know, East to Paris Nord. And, and just going like, here we are in Paris, <laughs> yeah. you know. And we, and we get it's set, much dirtier than I remember. Yeah. Much yeah. dirtier. And right, right. And also it was, um, everyone was very short. And like, and I realized how short everyone was. Because at one point I couldn't, I couldn't, um, uh, like Mark, Mark and I got separated. And I was like, "Where's Mark?" And I turned around, and like you were like a block away, but I could see you because like you were just a head above everybody else. And I was like, "Oh, like, hey!" You know. And Hank, of course, being head and shoulders above right. everybody. Like, so yeah. <laughs> totally hilarious. Like, hey, huh. <laughs> France. And then we got on the train um, up to. Um, uh, that was Paris for was us. That, yeah, that was Paris. That was it. That was the. Um, uh, and the, yeah, then we got to, to, um, to up to Hamburg. Mm-hmm. And when you talk about Hamburg and and meeting with Dinosaur Junior. Because you remember that you remember, you remember that better, like where, where they played and stuff. Yeah, they played at this club that Slapshot ended up playing a few years later, called the Markthalle, mm-hmm. and um, they they have two rooms there, one big giant room which was uh, was awesome. So we met up with these guys, and I had met uh, Hank knew these guys well. Um, I had met Lou and Jay a few years prior. Yeah, um, I think at. Um, Oh, oh, we saw Deep Wound out in Western Mass at the Greenfield Grange. Oh, DYS, yeah. That's where I met Lou and, and Jay. And was, Lou was still in the band, yeah. Dino, at this point, yeah, yeah. yeah. 88. So, um, so we met up with, with those guys. Um, they were playing, I think it was the next day. Oh, I, yeah, I yeah, yeah. It was the next day, so we had, we had time to just kind of hang around. So we, we went down to the, the, the Raper Bond for a, l- a little while. Um, we, and we were we were with Megan, who is my old yeah, girlfriend. Yeah, Megan. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Because um, she, she, uh, um, she's friends with she was friends with those well, still friends with those guys, and um, uh, and so you know, and Megan was like, uh, I remember they said like, oh, um, uh, women should like uh, women who aren't prostitutes should like cover that's up. That's right. Yeah. And so Megan like had her hood up and and still got like some of the of the of the, uh, the working women yelled at her like hey come on you know sort of like right. i think they were i think they they're always worried that people are you know going to come in and like take their business competition their business, yeah. 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 Thing. It was you know which was just a bizarre thing and um uh but yeah and, and that was and that was and we traveled with them i mean we we stayed with them that night yeah and then and then they played um, they had a hotel so that was nice yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. Yeah. showers charged them to throw their quarters into yeah. right and um uh and then, but then the next day, uh, so then they played, and then we went to Berlin because that's where uh, uh, Megan was staying, and so Megan said we could, you know, we could stay with her. But we had, we took the show was awesome, by the way. Yeah, the yeah. Show was I don't remember anything about the show. The show, show was so good. Talk about the show. I, um, yeah, I mean, it's just a, it's a it's a big room. It's probably a thousand people, and they had packed it out because they were like at the the height of their. It was really uh, their, their initial height. It was their first. Right, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, one, one of the records had just, I think, Bug had just, yeah. had just come out. Yeah, yeah exactly. So they were they were definitely riding high, and um, if you know those guys, they're 
so chill, you know what I mean? So yeah. it was, they were, they were as confused as anybody else. And <laughs> the show was great. Um, they played as the last number they played. Oh, last right. Yeah, they played yeah, the last right. The, the last right. Uh, yeah, right. Exactly. Oh, yeah, they were covering that at that yeah. time. So Hank and I, I don't know whether they played that for us or not. Right. Because um, um, I don't know if that was part of their regular set, but they played it. And Hank and I went berserk. Like, yeah. Just you know, just took off and, and created the, you know this two man pit uh, in this giant place where everybody was just these kind of you know just whatever revelers or whatever. Um, that must have been pretty surreal to see that. Like you guys are, you know, hanging out with people from all over the world, and all of a sudden it's kind of oh, yeah, yeah. back home, you know, right? Right. Yeah, back home. Yeah. So it was nice. I mean, it was nice, and, and um, um, we had a lot of time to just kind of spend and, and chill and hang out you yeah. know, with people that we knew, and so it's it. You're not hearing about tooled leather bags. You're, you're right. kind of talking about people's yeah, yeah, and yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. it was a nice, the, it was a nice yeah, break, you know, the, like a the, nice cushion. Yeah, though in Hamburg and <laughs> in, in the Riverbond, I bet we could have um, found someone who with a tooled leather bag, but I don't think it was a different sort of. This uh, is correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I had never seen anything like these places. Before. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really, we just, really sh- shocking. But luckily, you're with these guys uh, and, and Megan, of course, who. Um, such a great sense of humor about it. Yeah. You know, it's like you just have to take it for what it yeah, is. Yeah, of course. And um, um, so, that, so it was actually just a lot of fun. Nice. And and then we, um, the, I remember the, the Dynasty Junior um, touring folks said look, that we couldn't come with them to, to Berlin. We, we couldn't travel with them. Right, right. Because, um, uh, because you, you know, you're, drive, you're driving through East Germany, a different right. country at that time. Right. And, and, and we were like, Oh, oh yeah, right. It's a different. Oh, yeah. Okay. It, like, it, it still didn't quite like yeah. tabulate in my head, but like, oh, because we were traveling so free with the Euro Pass. I mean, we were just doing whatever yeah. we want. So whenever restrictions came along, like in those times, like when Hank was saying, when you're on the train and and the uh, passport control comes on and they review right. and they look at you and they eventually give you the the stamp of approval. Um, y- y- you know, y- we had this sort of like free atmosphere. We were just traveling and traveling, but yeah. you have these little pockets of authority that right. clamp down on you occasionally. So it was, it was, it was strange. And to, and to think that, you know, we, well, we, we couldn't necessarily travel with them because of these, you know, political restrictions. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty and, weird. And so we got on a bus and we took this bus. And, we, and, and the thing that, that, that we both remember about when we sort of arrived in Berlin or close to Berlin was all of a sudden looking out the window and seeing um, this enormous helicopter fly overhead with a big red star in its belly it's like one, it was one of those uh like those sort of double prop helicopters that you yeah. like you'd see like in the old videos of like when russia invaded Afghanistan. Right. Sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. You're like it was like whoa yeah well it was it, was, it became very yeah. surreal all of a sudden i was like wow and the guy came on the you know the bus like the the passport guy and it was just like staring everybody down We're like this is just like yeah. And you're driving this gauntlet on either side of the road is like 30 foot barbed wire fences. Yeah. The whole length of this road. And then there's a passport station, you know, which is, you know, concrete and glass right. towers. There's armed people everywhere. You know, yeah. It's just really yeah, it's super surreal. First time seeing that must have been. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, no, it's, totally. And, and yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was odd. It mm-hmm. really was, especially, once again, yeah, right. Especially, you know, in comparison, well, in comparison to what we, what we were used to in our own lives. And then just that the whole other like time of, of people just like hanging out and yeah. just doing Euro, right. you know, it was just <laughs> right. really great and being, you know, like, oh, so then we hung out in Berlin and um, we were staying with, with uh, our pal Megan who had, um, who was renting a room from this great couple. Yeah. Uh, Christoph and Angelika. And what was Christoph's band? The Hip Priests. The hmm. Hip Priests. The Hip Priests. Yeah. If these folks ever hear this or anybody knows these folks please have them get in touch with us because these were some of the nicest folks yeah folks that we met and they were so generous with their space and right. their time and, yeah, and yeah. everything so nice and, and megan had brought along this guy who had um uh he was an odd little guy from worcester yeah. who um uh this is on this apartment in berlin yeah. too. so yeah, this is yeah. someone you knew based. from back here he, Me- megan knew from back here yeah um Meg and I had dated when we were at UMass together, and then and then split up and re- remained friends. Yeah. But um, and so it was this guy who like, um, uh, who wasn't dating uh, Megan, but just you know, this weird little hangers on, and but like, he kept doing things that would like cause great trouble for Megan and for everybody else, and right. like you know, not getting his passport, like just yeah, all that sort of stuff. Just the pain. Just, there's mm-hmm. all these sort of things, and I kept going like Megan, like I, I just. 
know, my aunt, mess, oh, right. he's really nice. No, he's really sweet. <laughs> and then only discovered later on that like um, uh, Megan discovered that he had this big um, art uh, a book. He'd been making sketches. And she said, yeah, it, uh, and I, was, I was moving his bag one day and it fell out. And, and, and it was, he'd, he'd drawn this like naked picture of Megan, but with like a giant sword in her hand and like planets. <laughs> She's like, oh, what the fuck is yeah. this guy? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I knew I was right. But it was, it was amazing to, to run around Berlin. And I'm like, um, so we were there almost a year to the date before like the Berlin Wall fell. Like, yeah, we were yeah. There, like November oh, of, yeah, yeah. Of, of, of 88. And that we, um, they had these like these kind of wooden parapets that you could sort of climb up and look over into East Berlin, and it was like looking into like, uh, um, it's like the Wizard of Oz in reverse. Oh, like, yeah. Like like, like right. you, you you know you're in Oz, you know you're yeah, and everything is in color, and you sort of look over the fence, and it's just bleak, bleak and yeah. black and white, yeah. and it was just like, wow. That's and amazing. that no man's land between between the walls. That's right. With all these like wild rabbits running That's around right. this grassy strip in between the two walls and it was just you know thinking of these rabbits running around free and people on this side are really yeah, oppressed and and, right. and berlin this kind of you know up and coming where the city center keeps changing and right. it's, a, it's a hub of, of art and culture and all that stuff um, it, because the other thing that's interesting to, to remember too is that um uh, if you lived in Germany um, uh, and were, you know, as, as soon as you turned 18, you got drafted into the military. Right. Unless you lived in Berlin, and there was this rule that, like, if you know, any, the people in Berlin wouldn't be drafted into the military. Right. Um, and uh, and so it became the place that everyone was like, I don't want to go in the military. I'm moving <laughs> to Berlin. So yeah. it was this kind of crazy, amazing, right. kind of freaky city. Like yeah, that. yeah. And um, uh, yeah, I remember we, we, I think Acid House was just starting then, right? There was big yes. Oh, Acid that's House. right. Remember all those posters. Yeah, there's all these posters with that ubiquitous smiley face. That, oh, you know, yeah. That, that, oh, oh yeah, God, that's, that's stuff. That's right. Yeah. And um, uh, so that was kind of crazy for you know, just to sort of check that out and, yeah. and, and walk around and see all that. And then, um, uh, yeah, that was, that, was a, that, was, that was a pretty amazing thing. And then, um, so then, um, uh, what else did we want to say Berlin? Because you stayed, you stayed in Berlin yeah, longer. Yeah, this is where we separated, right? Right, and I went to England to, um, to visit my aunt and uncle. Okay. Um, and... Um, I, I was like, all right, I, you know, I, I, I don't know if it, we'll have time to do anything else. So I was, um, uh, so yeah, I, 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 well, why don't you talk about more about Berlin and I'll talk a bit, a bit then about, about my sure, thing. Sure, yeah. So we, Hank and I, we, we split, Hank was going to UK and I decided to stay there in Berlin. Yeah. Um, the, uh, Megan had left at that point too. I think she was oh, continuing right. on with dinosaur, with, with dinosaur yeah. right? Exactly. So I stayed in this apartment. The people were just like, yeah, you can stay here. Of course. Yeah. Um, so I, I stayed there. God, I mean, they let me have free reign of the place. Yeah. And, um, and, and here's their address. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. All right. Sorry. I, <laughs> yeah. Things like that you haven't seen in 30 years, you know, that kind of blows your mind. Um, so I stayed in Berlin and I just hung out with these people, but I also hung out just by myself. I just went out exploring, walking yeah. around myself, etc. Um, I didn't interact much with um, the the friend there. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But the, but the two folks that that own the apartment were were super. They were just great, great people. Um, at night we would just sit and like we'd listen to records. Right. Uh, I don't remember going out a lot at night. Um, I, I I just remember sitting listening to records and they were playing records that, you know, I had heard as a kid and didn't care and or was tired of and stuff. But hearing hearing their commentary in there, um, you know. The, the way that they appreciated American music kind of gave me a new appreciation yeah. for things like, you know, the Rolling Stones and stuff like that that I had just kind of, you know, either gotten sick of or didn't right. care about, whatever. Um, Berlin, I found to be just absolutely f fascinating, you know, just buildings that were um, squatted, um, built, you know, yeah. like bed sheets hanging out the window with political yeah. slogans oh, on yeah, and stuff yeah. like that, you know, juxtaposed with these beautiful... Um, you know, new developments of, you know, whether they're apartments or um, government buildings, that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, I had a great time. Yeah. A great time in Berlin. Were you buying stuff? Like you got because you just had a bag, so you probably weren't like buying records and books yeah, and I was stuff like. Records. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was buying records. <laughs> no, I was actually, buying I'm thinking records. like, of course, Mark was yeah, buying records. Yeah, of course, of course. And then once we got to, uh, to England, it, it reached critical mass. I had to buy, I had to buy a, se a separate bag to catch yeah. up. Yeah, I was gonna say, would you? Uh, but we'll, we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, I, I mean, my my 
when we travel with the band, it was like, where do you go when you get to a town? You go to the record store because yeah, exactly. that's where you meet the people. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. you know, that was kind of my thing was like, well, when you get to Berlin, look for yeah. a record store, yeah. you know? Yeah. I still do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Exactly. Bookstores and record stores. Exactly. So, you know, I, we went to this, um, this thrift market every morning. Mm -hmm. um, after breakfast too with these people and they, and they were just looking for the pots and pans and stuff yeah, yeah. And it was just kind of like a, a generic flea market so yeah. um, but all oh, just things that I, I can still see it in my mind just doing these these mundane things that were rendered so completely fascinating and different because I was 3,000 miles from yeah, home, yeah. You know? and now the, the language barrier do you guys have trouble with that in oh, any of these well, countries <laughs> well of course in, yeah, you yeah. Know, in some ways um, but a, a lot of it you know yeah, the, the, especially in Germany, yeah. where everybody, um, uh, everyone spoke English be because we were in, in in West Germany for the most part, and in Berlin, yeah. um, and just the presence of, of America, and you know, um, funding made everyone sort of speak um, uh, that everyone you know spoke English, and that was um, uh, which was great, and it was but it was funny when I that that first trip to to Germany. I didn't really like Germany that much. Yeah. And um, I was like, oh, they're, you know, I just, I just didn't like, I just, I, you know, and it took me a while. Was, I think it was after I came back and I met some Germans here that I realized I'd been thinking of Germans wrong. Like, you know, after like right. going to, you know, quaint Switzerland and all yeah. this other stuff that I was like, I wanted to quaint Germany. But really after like, you know, all this time, you know, post-war that really like Germany was much more like Texas mm -hmm. <laughs> than it was like a quaint European right. city, country, you know? And I was like, oh, I need to think of them as Texans, you know? Right. And, and then so that when we went back with Slapshot, mm -hmm. and then the next time I went back, and um, uh, and that was great. And I was like, yeah. oh, oh yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, much more like us than I expected. And I should you know, hit myself upside <laughs> the head for, for having, you know. See, and I had that week-long thoughts. experience with these people right. to kind of like get used to the flow of the city and the, and the way that, you know, people, um, you know, went about their business and all that stuff, so. Um, so I, I, I don't know. I just kind of fell in step with with nice. Berlin at that time. Yeah. So, so and, and when we separated, so I went to England, and and really, you know, what, once I got to England, it was really just sort of hanging out with my aunt and uncle who live right. about an hour south of, of London, and then taking the train into London. And it's kind mm -hmm. of and, and then just walking around. And, yeah. You know, so there's no no great stories. The great the great story was was me trying to get to um, because I think I, I think I left the the Let's Go book with you in Berlin. And I was like, no, it'll be easy. <laughs> I wrote down all the information right. yeah, yeah. of the ferries from La Havre, you, to, you yeah. know, <laughs> to, to, to England. And, and, um, uh, and I got there uh, and um, the, the, the ferry, you know, thing was closed. And I was like, you know, and I, I kept, I'm looking at this piece of paper that I'd written down, the, the, you know, everything on it. And it was all like, um, you know, and basically I figured out like, oh wait, this is the summer schedule. They're now on the winter <laughs> schedule and I'm screwed. And like, oh, is the next boat like, is it tomorrow or is it in two days? Like I was just all this sort of like freaking out sort of stuff. Yeah, and the only thing you can get there is Let's Go America book. You can't get it. Right. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, damn. <laughs> and I was like, and, and but I remember like, you know, that I'd written this and that there was, and there was no youth hostel. Maybe I had the youth hostel book. Maybe I had the let's go book at that, this point. But anyway, but I, I mean, it just said like, there was no, there were no youth hostels in, in La Havre. And I was like, oh man. And so I walked into the, there's a, little, a little, a little, um, uh, courtyard, a little, I mean, a little public park. And I was like, walk around going like, well, I guess I could maybe like <laughs> stick my, my, you know, sleeping bag up underneath that bush there. And we'll just, you know, right. and then figure it out in the morning because the trains aren't running, you know? Um, and, um, uh, and I just stopped to, to tie my shoe, and I, and I, when I looked up, all of a sudden I saw that it was like a, a youth hostel sticker in this window of this of this, of this building. I was like, great! Yeah. And I walked in, and there was like this whole disco going on, <laughs> and um, and I was like, hi! They're like, oh, are you here for the disco? And I went, no, no, I'm, I'm, I wonder if I can get a, a, you know, a bed for the night. Oh, of course, great! <laughs> but it is also disco night, right? You know, and this guy had like. He looked like Sleazy P. Martini, you know, from the oh, bar, like right. pencil thin mustache, kind of slicked hair, too big a suit, you know. Right. It was disco night. It was disco so. night, right? And um, I was like, all right, so you know, I went up, dropped off my stuff, and I was, I was just happy that like I had a, uh, you know, uh, a, a, you know, a room over, you yeah, know, of a, a roof over my over my head, and um, uh, and it was just a bunch of like people dancing to bad disco, and I was like, you know, like, <laughs> I was like, all right, you know what, I'm just gonna go to sleep. I'm yeah. Gonna go. So I went upstairs. And um, the room I was I was given, I was sharing it with these two Californian brothers, for, um, and they um, uh, and the outside of our uh, of, of 
uh, this one uh, uh, where my bed was 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 a street light that mm. was on like and had that weird buzz like that sort yeah. of like, you know so I was like I know what I'll do I've got a mummy sleeping bag I'm gonna climb inside it and I'll pull it really tight you know and thus I'll just be able to breathe out of it it's fine but then what, what happened of course is in the middle of the night I'll, I would have rolled over so then all of a sudden the air hole <laughs> yeah. is like over by my ear yeah, and I pulled it tight and I couldn't get my arm it was this hole like you know and in the morning the guys were like well, I, we heard something weird are you okay <laughs> what, was that okay and I was like oh yeah that was primal Rough screaming. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> in a bag, yeah. and, um, and I took a shower and um, uh, and and discovered um, uh, um, uh, that the place actually was uh, was was um, the, the most of the rooms in the in the youth hostel were had been taken over by a um, uh, uh, a school trip from England, and um, uh, and 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 so um, when it came out, like. Um, uh, discovered all these folks there and then later on just took a um, uh, took the ferry across with all these folks who you know, once again traded addresses people that I went back and visited you know three years later four years later yeah um, which was which was great you know which is such a uh, you know a, a fun thing about just going and traveling and yeah. you know hanging out with these folks oh yeah you know there's this picture of me here with a can of coca-cola I think it's like you know nine o'clock in the morning <laughs> and there I am drinking a big big you know can of coke for some reason, I don't know why, but because um, I think it's all like you know, it was either that or wine. Or, you know. <laughs> right. Um, was was that a uh, so because drinking's a, a big part of the culture in Europe? Was that like weird to ex like explain to people like you know we don't because sometimes people just think that's strange like oh you don't drink that's like why did only did once you... only once did I did I actually have to explain myself when, yeah. when we got into. Um, to, to Ireland at the, at the at the at the end of the trip, yeah, um, was um, was talking about um, because the, the, all, all I wanted to do was go to the bar right, at, right. at Trinity and yeah. just hang out, yeah, which yeah. I thought was great because yeah. I mean it was it was this great social situation. Yeah, of course, yeah, it was a really great time with with really nice people right. and all that stuff. But all they did was just drink after yeah, drink yeah. after drink after drink, and yeah. you know they'd bring me a coke and all right. that stuff, and yeah. everybody'd be buying the rounds, and they were yeah. like, "You don't have to buy the rounds; you're only drinking coke." So. Um, <laughs> But trying to explain like why I didn't, right? Um, yeah, you know, like Seamus knew about straight edge yeah. and all that stuff, so I didn't have to explain to him. But yeah. the rest of the his friends there at Trinity, I was just like, you know, trying to, you know, yeah, explain without alienating right. yeah, people. You know? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, because some some people, uh, even me, I don't. I'll drink every once in a while, but uh, sometimes people think it's you think you're better than them or something. You know, if you're like, oh, I don't drink, they're like, oh, you. So that vibe never happened with people. I don't. It didn't. No, yeah, no. Yeah. Like I said, the only time I remember having to explain it at all was just yeah. it was in this thing. Yeah. We we didn't go out a lot. We didn't yeah, put ourselves yeah, in so situations we in with bars and stuff yeah. like yeah. that, or go out at night to clubs and stuff right. like that. So yeah. Um, you know, I think a lot of our interactions were just, um, just kind of casual. Just you know, yeah. we were just being involved with people's yeah, stories course, yeah. and then going on. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But then, but so then, and, and then we decided that we would that we were going to meet up in Belgium, right? I think that, I think, I think that was the plan. In Brussels, right? In Brussels, right, yeah. right. And um, uh, and 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 we did, and that's where we first got. Um, I remember, like I got there. I think you were, you were already there, yeah. and I got there, and you were like, "You got to try out these doner kebabs." <laughs> and I was like, "Really?" <laughs> and it was, we were both like, we both got like, I think we had three of them. We we're like, "This is the greatest food ever." Oh yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. I had actually um, left Berlin and I was getting on a train to go. I think I was going to go to Paris, mm -hmm. go back to Paris because I wanted to check it out. And then I was going to meet up with Hank a couple days yeah. later. Um, I ended up missing my train to Paris and sitting in the train station going, what, what do I do now? I, I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you, know, yeah. you know, it's late at night. Right. So sure, there, was these, <laughs> there were two, two people, two young folks sitting on a bench near me. I mean, they were adults, but... <laughs> And they, and they were reading like a melody. It was not creepy. Yeah, right, right. They were reading a Melody Maker magazine in, yeah. in English. So yeah. I was like, oh, that's you know, that's a good sign. That's yeah, cool. So they saw Slapshot on my jacket. Yeah. And be, they were. It turns out they were heavily involved with music, so they oh, okay. peripherally knew of Slapshot. Right. So they they started chatting, mm -hmm. and um, I said, well, I just missed my train to Paris. I don't know where we're going. So they said, well, why don't you come to. Leuven was where they were, and, yeah. which was about an hour from from Brussels. Yeah, and I said, "Well, I'm kind of going towards Brussels anyway, so yeah. sure." So sure enough, the, I mean, just these two people I'd met and known for half an hour. We yeah. got on the train, went to their house 
in Lurvin, which is this beautiful medieval college town. I mean, oh, it's yeah. just unbelievably gorgeous. Yeah. Um, they put me up for two days there. Oh, wow. I mean, it was just, you know, again, another situation where yeah. somebody sees somebody in need and, yeah. and you've got some commonality yeah. and they just went, you know, to the nth degree just to take yeah. care of me. Yeah. That's crazy. Still in touch with those folks to this oh, day. Oh, really? So, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Infrequently, but I mean, right, we, right. It's, still, it's still alive. So um, so from from that point, it was just a quick hop to yeah. Brussels to meet up with Hank. And, and we got there, and um, somehow we realized that Scream was playing from, you know, Scream from DC were doing their yeah. first European tour. And did we see a, fly, a flyer or a poster or I don't know what it was? I don't remember. Yeah, but also we were like, we got to go see the show. Yeah, of course. But like, I think we also realized that if we went to the show that we wouldn't have a place to stay. <laughs> but we were like, well, screw it. Yeah, well, yeah. Is that important yeah, to no, us? Right, really? right, right, I mean, yeah. Does it matter? Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so we show up and of course those, those guys were like, hey, what, yeah, what, what are you guys doing, doing here? Yeah, you know? Of course. <laughs> and uh, and, we, and uh, while we're hanging out, I don't even know where our backpacks were. Like did we leave, did, like, did we check them at the at the at the door? Like I have no idea. Like I, I, I don't remember. Know. Yeah, maybe, maybe I remember being without them because remember we had the jackets and those kids saw the slapshot jackets and they spoke to us. So maybe we locked them in a train station yeah. or, or or maybe the screen guy said we could put it in the back. I, I, I don't remember. even know. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah I don't know. But yeah, we had slapshot jackets and people were like, "What's this?" And <laughs> and um and one guy was um this one guy was like. Uh, no, you have the Celtic cross and the thing. We're like, no, no, no. It's a hockey. It's a hockey right. mask. It's a, you know. He's like, oh, we're not fascists. <laughs> oh, oh, let's go great. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, great. So, um, uh, screenplay, and they're like, and we're like, uh, hey, could, you know, where are you guys staying? Could we stay with you guys? They're like, oh, there's no room for for anybody else. And we're like, oh shit, what do we do now? Yeah. And so we went back to the guy who had said like, what is with the Celtic cross thing? We were like, hey. Um, this might sound weird, but um, we don't have, we don't have a place to stay. His name <laughs> every, every, Marshall Jansen. There he is. I, I, I have his, there, oh there he is. Oh my god! No um, way. And uh, and we're like, could we stay with you? And he says, yeah. he, he says, yes. Um, okay. Uh, but uh, I think he was a, he was the mailman, right? And he had taken the mail truck. Mm-hmm. Like out, which which he wasn't supposed to right, do. And yeah. there's also this kind of crazy three wheel mail truck thing. Yeah. And so he said, okay, I can only have one person in this. Supposed to have one person in this, so one of you will have to lie down, cramped in the back. So I'm, I'm lying down, in the cramp, like so. I'm completely no idea. Lights, yeah. you know, yeah, big yeah. cities, and but we're driving for a while. Mark's like, whoa, hey, we're gonna, <laughs> you know, you live pretty far out, Marcel. <laughs> and we and, and we you know we arrived at, at his house. I'm like, wow, this it's a real house. You're, you're like a, a, a grown up with a real house. This is good, you know. So, and uh, we went we went in and um, uh, and crashed on his on his floor. You know, uh, him and his girlfriend, and then Mark and I on the floor, and they and they had these like. Um, their their window shades were like they were like metal grate window shades. It was like you know like like you'd have like if you're right. in someplace where it's gonna be a riot, you know. Right. And I remember we woke up late. We woke up after the, after the, after them. But both of us woke up because there were these really strange noises. We're yeah. Like what's that? What's that noise? Go, what's going on? And primal like, screaming. Yeah, yeah, primal <laughs> screaming. Like what's going? Like it's, mm. no, the, the couples left the room. What's going on? And. Uh, and it was only, I don't know if, if we opened the shade or whatever, but we, but we looked outside and there was a cow right outside our window. <laughs> They've been making all these noises all night. We're like, oh, we're really far away from the city. Yeah, this is yeah. like, you know, um, my, my youngest daughter yeah. has come in. Um, and, uh, um, but it, it, great, you know, and once again, just like, like you know, that, that same sense of like people, somebody going like, sure, yeah. stay with us, yeah, yeah. sure, that's fine, you know. And whereas, you know, a few hours earlier, he thought we were fascists, and now right, we're, we're sleeping on his floor. Know, so. right? That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I can't remember how we got back to the, the local train station, but um, it, is that where we went? I'm still looking at the... Um, uh, oh, from there we went to Amsterdam. Is that right? From there we went to Amsterdam. Yes, because and, we went with Scream. We, we met up with Scream in Amsterdam. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, we, and uh, we stayed at um, uh, Bob's Youth Hostel. That's right. <laughs> which, which Mark and I, uh, I, we looked up to see if it, 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 it is in fact still uh, a, a going concern. Oh, right. But we the concern we, is right. <laughs> yeah, concern is right. We opened up, the, we opened up the, the the book and it said like Bob's Youth Hostel, punky atmosphere. And so Mark and I were like, all right, yes. yeah. punky atmosphere. And we went there. We like planned extra specs when we get there. Right, exactly. Yeah. And we went in there and we realized that we were the punky atmosphere. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like that, that it was us. And um, uh, and so we. Um, uh, so we're like, all right, well, let's go see Scream, and um, 
which was, you know, it, it was fine. It was fun to hang out with Scream. And, and they were like, oh, we're going to go to a coffee shop. We're like, excellent. We, we love coffee, sure. And that was not a coffee shop. It's a no. Coffee. Oh, no. we, okay. <laughs> like, oh, Coffee uh, shop, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, that's also, um, <laughs> you, you reminded me of this, too. We spent the day with, uh, with Dave Grohl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, doing what? <laughs> yeah, he was new, he was new with them too. So oh yeah, you know, we did he kind of peripherally known the uh, the other guys well enough to 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 um, um, you know kind of insinuate ourselves into their situation. Yeah. Um, but Grohl was he was so nice. He was yeah. such a super friendly guy, and we went with them somewhere in in Amsterdam. So hey, my oh. eldest daughter and her friend have walked in. So we went someplace in Amsterdam where Dave had apparently scheduled or. Uh, was going to get a, ta- a tattoo. Oh, okay. So it was this weird loft or something, and sure enough, there's Dave Grohl getting this oh, you know, wow. this big tribal tattoo on yeah, his yeah. arm. And, yeah. uh, um, I, he really is one of the nicest guys. Yeah, I yeah. know that his his fame kind of um, yeah. um, you know, made some a target yeah. of, of, of some nasty comments and stuff, but I mean, he's... Yeah, he's, that's what I've gathered. When... Uh, my band with Al Quint opened for them at TT's when they, it was King Face, uh, Scream, and in, in us. And I remember That's at the right. time, yeah, oh yeah, my gosh. yeah, yeah. And at the time, I think we got paid twenty five dollars. And uh, King's ransom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, so Pete and I, I, I thought it was Dave because he had just joined the band because it was around that same time. And uh, they gave us some of their money because they, they were like, you guys were great. And they gave us like uh, 25 or 50 or out of their right, money. Right. But they, I was like, wow. That's so, And Pete was always like the coolest guy. I yeah. had interviewed him in my zine when yeah. I was a kid. And he always remembered me. And it's just the, the, those guys all were super sweet guys. Yeah. And one of the one of my favorite bands of all yep. time, too. So oh, it's cool yeah, to hear that, that Grohl was there. What was funny is um, an aside thing, like, you know when you meet people and, and like and then he wasn't with Scream anymore. He was with Nirvana after that. Yeah. And I was working at Newbury Comics and you know somebody from the label called up and they're like, "We're gonna bring Nirvana by your store." You right. know, like wow, yeah. like yeah, super yeah. cool. <laughs> and you know we knew Nirvana were just a bunch of punks anyway. Yeah, so yeah. No big deal. Um, so the label guy comes in and I'd like to introduce everybody to Nirvana. You know, like it's this big thing. <laughs> right. So Grohl, who I hadn't seen in a couple of years, yeah. gave me a big hug. Yeah, you know, yeah. just like. Hey, <laughs> so yeah. you know, it's just like you don't forget those, yeah, those of course, like those kindnesses and those, yeah. those punk, punk things that yeah, you come yeah. across. Yeah. yeah, he's still a hardcore kid, and you can, yep. you can tell, yeah. you know. And yeah, people hate him because his face is all over the TV. But I, I think he's it's all over whatever. the place for a reason. Yeah, yeah exactly. He's doing, he's doing yeah. what he believes in. So yeah, and um, yeah. So I mean, yeah. Fuck Howard. Just like, <laughs> I, even, I, I even ran into him like I don't know, maybe even. Ten years later, and he's like Hank, and I'm like, how oh, does he remember me? I know, yeah. Like, right. you know, yeah. Been all the people all they meet, yeah. yeah. And Nirvana had just hit this big thing, you know what I mean? So it's you know they were kind of the the new rock royalty, yeah, of course. And yeah. to have them come in the store and just go whatever, you know, right? Just, yeah, we know what we know what the score is. So. Yeah, really right. So and then from Amsterdam we went to Ireland. I I, don't, I think that is that right? I think that's, that's... yeah, because it must have been a ferry from. Somewhere oh, there, oh, yeah, that, we, that, we, that, we, that we took, and um, uh, and we we and we arrived in Dublin. That my and my my roommate from college, um, Seamus Vineco, uh, his his mom was Irish, his dad was Czechoslovakian. He's like, I'm the only Vineco in the phone book. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, just turn to the V's. There's like three of us. <laughs> the the V's. Um, and um, <clears throat> uh, and and um, but uh, and he'd given me given me his, his address at Trinity College. And so we went there, but we couldn't find him. Yeah. And um, uh, he told us the next day, he said, you know, everyone says that, they, that they're going to come stay with me in Dublin, but no one ever does. <laughs> and so I wasn't expecting anything. And then you guys actually showed up. Um, <laughs> but we, we couldn't find him that night. We're like, well, what do we do? And I was like, oh, wait, my mom, you know, who, uh, um, gave me a list of people that she knows, like, across Ireland that I should, like, you know, that if I get stuck, we could go visit and or call. And so this one woman and... Um, uh, and her, 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 and I, I knew I, I'd met her, her brother. This, so, so this was Vin Scully's sister, right? So it was, uh, you know, my parents' age, and, um, uh, and so I, I call up on the phone, and I said, "Hi, you don't know me, but um, uh, my mom is friends with your uncle." You know, because actually the first is these little girls on the phone, like, "Hello," and I said, "Yes." So my mom is friends with your uncle, and they said, uh, "And I'm back packing across Europe with a pal." 
and they said if we get stuck in Dublin that we should give you guys a call and the girl was like oh my parents aren't here right now but just come on out and we're like <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 okay she, she said, yes just, just take the number 16 bus to the end and be fine right. alright great and so Mark and I were like oh, okay so they, they said alright and um, <laughs> uh, and I remember that I'd spoken to this guy Vin you know t- telling him I was going to go to Europe and he's like oh stop into my scene I, I spoke to my sister recently you know I, so I'm speaking here tomorrow you know and so I'll tell her that you're coming it'll be fine you know like, okay great you know and um, uh, and I remember we went up to a um, uh a cop because I didn't know where the bus is at where I'm yeah. like, oh, hi, um, I'm trying to find a uh, uh, where the bus number 16 uh, picks up. And he goes, oh, are you an American? I said, oh, yes. He goes, where are you from? I said, uh, Boston. He goes, oh, Boston. <laughs> oh, Boston. Oh, it's great. Oh, you'll, oh it's, Boston's a great city. Uh, you know, my, my, uh, my cousin moved there. I said, oh, really? Yes, uh, we're just trying to look for a number 16. He goes, right. oh, yes. Yeah, you know, uh, but uh, um, uh, do, do you know anyone named, um, uh, you know, Jimmy O'Sullivan. And I was like, <laughs> like Jimmy 12, O'Sullivan. You know, 12 15, Austin, you know. yeah. I mean, in my fact, like you're walking around Dublin and it was like, yeah. um, uh, like the DNA dispersal between Dublin and Boston is very small. <laughs> yeah. I kept going like, is that my paper boy? Right. Like, it was like, yeah. like, you know. <laughs> and, um, and, and so finally I was like, he's like, I was like, oh no, I don't think I know any Irish Jimmy O'Sullivan. Yeah. And I goes, oh, okay. So I said, so where's the bus? He goes, oh, right, the bus. Okay. You see, you, you see the bridge here and across the bridge, you see that, you see the bank, right? And you see, uh, and right next to the bank is the uh, the photo. Play. Okay, and you see, there's a bus stop there. Well, it's not that street. It's the next street beyond that. <laughs> I was like, okay, yes, yeah, I, yes, yeah. I, I am in Ireland, right? Yeah. As so we walk out there, and of course it was in the evening, so we had we had we hadn't changed any money. So we're yeah. like, we're like, I don't, I don't know how we're gonna get on this bus, you know? Yeah. But we, the bus comes, and and um, uh, we let everyone else go on, and then we said to the bus driver, "Hi, um, uh, we're supposed to uh, take this bus, but we don't have any money." He goes. It's going there anywhere. Anyway, <laughs> get on. We're like, we're like, yeah. That would not you happen know. here. No, it was, it was exa- totally, yeah. Oh, a foreigner in a different country? No, sorry, buddy. Yeah, uh, yeah here, there, it was, it was so great. And, yeah. and, and it's going there anyway. It's going there anyway. <laughs> and um, and we took the bus out, and I said, oh, this is, you know, he said, where, where, you know, where are you going to? So I gave him the address, and he said, okay, sure. And so then, you know, and it's by the time we get out, it's dark. We're outside the city, and I'm like. And we're out by the water. Yeah, I was gonna say we're in the moors we're or something. The, you know? and, and he goes, "Okay, here's your stop, guys." And I was like, "Oh, okay." And I was like, "Oh, this guy, like, has just he's got the greatest prank ever. Like, I right. took these two Americans, yeah. and I dropped them off in the middle of the <laughs> field, free, oh, right. Oh, right? You know." And, it, and so he lets us off, and um, and the bus drives away, and then we see the sign. Oh, there's there's the like there's the you know there's the street and there's the house. Look up the house, and we ring the doorbell, and like the door opens, and these three little like redheaded like like Irish. Like it, it, you know, like cartoon versions of, of the Irish open yeah. the door like hello, right. like oh, hi, <laughs> um, I'm Hank. This is Mark. Oh yeah, oh, come on, our parents are here. Come on in. So yeah. we put down our bags, and go in, and um, uh, you know introduce ourselves to the parents. And the woman says, now, now who are you again? And I said, oh, <laughs> so my mom uh, is friends with your brother Vinny. And as a matter of fact, uh, Vinny had told me, I ran into him, and he, he told me that he was uh, that he was going to let you know that I might be coming by. And she went. Vinny, I haven't heard from Vinny in 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> right? And all of a sudden we're like, oh no. She's like, no, no, no problem. No problem. You still you can find where you guys yes. to stay. No problem. And um, and so they kicked the girls out of their out of their rooms. And so um, and they fed us dinner, which was oh, yeah. you know, which was needed. And then we um, um, uh, subsisting on donor kebabs and you know, doesn't doesn't uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly, keep yeah. it for long. <laughs> Totally true, and um, and so then we're, we're we're up we're up. The parents have gone to bed. The younger girls have gone to bed. And so we're up with the the oldest uh, teenager, and she's um, and we're chatting and stuff. And the TV's on, and she's like, "Well, I'm I'm gonna hit the hay," and we're like, "Okay, that's fine." And then the TV says, uh, "Next on, um, you know, um, you know, next on Channel Four is." Uh, the Sex Pistols, the Great Rock and Roll Swindle. And Mark Just and I on were, TV. <laughs> on like regular TV on like you know. And Mark and I were like. Like, you know, and of course, at that point, I'd only seen, like, you know, the versions of the Rock and Roll Swindle I'd seen it had been, like, looked like they'd been smuggled out of Poland. Yeah, or, like, like an eighth, eighth generation right. video to say. Yeah. Butchered, right? Butchered exactly. up, right? Yeah. You know, and, and we're like, do, do you mind if we stay up? Oh, no, it's fine. Yes, you know, so we sit and watch the whole thing. I'm like, break the TV. You're like, you know, it was, a, you know, that was great. It was, you know, we were like, this is the country yeah. to live in. This is yeah, the yeah. people, you know. And the next day we went in and... and Real beds to sleep in. Just, food, yeah, it was great. That's crazy to think. Like nowadays, can you imagine like someone coming to your door? They didn't know Because you know, they could look yeah, you up exactly. and go, all right, this guy, Mark, he's related to this person. Right. So we could just say, oh yeah, I know your cousin, yeah. friend, you know. Right, right. 
Oh, okay, sure. Come in. That would never happen in here. You can sleep in, in my this daughter's age, bed. Yeah. We'll just throw them in the basement <laughs> or whatever. Right, it was totally true. <laughs> and um, so then we um, uh, we we um, got up next morning. Went into went into to um, uh, Dublin. Uh, met up with with my old roommate Seamus, um, and he showed us around uh, uh, Dublin. And we went out. Um, it was Friday night with with and with all these like. Um, young Irish women who were like kind of suspicious of us at first. They're like, you know, I mean, very much the sort of like that, you know, oh, Americans in Ireland, what's, what are you guys doing? And so then we, um, uh, and I remember just saying to one, one of them said like, so what are you doing here? And I said, I'm looking for an Irish bride. And like, it just caught her off guard. And she was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then I think, okay, we're in, good, you know. And, um, uh, and then I went up to Belfast for a few days to visit my mom's uh, cousins. Um, and like, I'm the, you know, the, the things I remember besides like meeting like my mom's, um, uh, aunt who I had never met before, um, uh, was, was being at the bus station and my, um, one of my mom's cousins showing up and he's like, are you Hank? And I was like, oh yeah. I said, yes, of course I am. Then I realized like, oh yeah, we've never seen actually photographs of each other, you know? <laughs> and of course, you know, yeah. I'm like, of course, but, you know, and just how happy everyone was mm-hmm. and how much they fed me. Because of course, yeah, we've been on this like yeah starvation diet, and um, and um, and and I mean, someone f- fed me and I ate a lot, and then the, <laughs> they told me that they called all like the, the my mom's cousins like the, their their wives would like call each other going like he's a big eater he's gonna he's come over here he's a big eater okay you're like all right you know and I'm like you know to the point where I'm like oh, I don't know if I can eat anymore this but like I don't want to be rude so I'll yeah. eat some more and um, stayed with them came back to Dublin. Find out that Mark had been kicked out of the dorms. You'd yeah, because you weren't supposed to have guests at the dorms. You weren't supposed to hang stuff up on the walls. Yeah. And you weren't supposed to have guests. Yeah. And she, one morning, there was a knock on the door, and Seamus goes, "Oh no." I was like, "What?" Sure enough, it's yeah. you know one of the administrators that comes huh. in and goes, "You have a guest," and all these things on the wall, you know. Oh, so Seamus got in big trouble, you yeah. know. So. Huh. Um, you weren't supposed to hang things yeah. on the wall. Your yeah. posters everywhere. Right, like, right. Oh God! <laughs> so yeah, we had got I got thrown out. I remember walking around that day. I remember I bought like a couple of bootleg cassettes on the street. Yeah, that's like, awesome. Cocteau Twins live shows. Oh really? Yeah, I'm exactly. <laughs> you know, on, on the street. Okay. Mark. I waited in a long line for fish and chips at this place that was supposed to be the best, you know, right yeah. in in Dublin. So yeah. Um, Walk by the U2 recording studio yeah. or something, which is right, I guess, supposedly right there. I don't yeah, know if right. it was actually or not. Um, but then ended up staying with Seamus the next night, too, yeah, because right, he right. was just like, Yeah, we'll just go in a different way. Right. Right? And, just, yeah. and, and it was like, we had either, uh, the, the gates closed, but you had to climb over the, the wall right. to get in. And this giant the, iron fence, too, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and um, uh, I was there. Three years ago, back in Dublin, and I took a picture of myself climbing over that wall. Oh, really? Oh, and I was like, amazing. yeah, there we go. Let's do it, man. I fell off the wall, too, remember? Oh, that's right. <laughs> you fell off the wall, smacking your back, and I was like, oh, my God, he's dead. And then you're like, oh, I'm right up. Oh, fine. And they're like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So how many, how long into this is this now? So this is by, you know, um, <laughs> How much like <laughs> like length of time or how much money we had? Left. Yeah, yeah. Right, that, that's the other thing too. Is it was this constant like like oh I have fifteen hundred dollars so right. down to you know that sort of thing. Um, so um, this is probably five weeks. Yeah, yeah. You know, and um, and then we decided that we're gonna we're gonna go to London and then um, and then we left from London. Indeed. So um, uh, so like all right we're gonna you know take now, now, now Ireland is on the Euro, was on the URL but England wasn't so getting from um, uh, getting from you know the continent to, to to Ireland, no problem. But getting from um, uh, from Dublin to England, and then from from wherever the hell we landed in Wales into London yeah. was what I would do by, by yeah. bus. <clears throat> but we didn't like we just bought the tickets. We're like, okay, great. And um, we arrived, um, and it, it was it, it was in a, a town of Boston in yeah. Wales. Remember that? We were very excited about that. And. Um, uh, and the, the, just the little things, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. Little things, right? And it was, the, and of course, that was the only thing that was going on in this entire town. Yeah, right. Was, was that, you know? <laughs> and and we got off the boat, and everybody just kind of walked on and walked onto this train yeah. to London. Like, been, you know, we'll be in London in two hours. And we're like, and Mark and I are like, this is great. What is going on? And they're like, oh no, oh you've got the bus pass. We're like, oh, <laughs> but where is the bus? You know, they're like, oh, you know, just wait for it. And so then, 
train goes, and it was just us. I don't think it was anybody else. And it was the milk run from Wales to to London. It was just us. It yeah. was just us. The yeah. two of us on a giant, a full size bus. Oh, really? And it was some like rockabilly guy driving. He was like this, like some Teddy boy. See, I can't remember him. Um, I remember talking to him. Yeah. You know, because there was nobody else on the bus. So yeah. what else are yeah. you gonna do? And um, uh, and and we um, uh, and we drove, and he was listening listening to radio, and um. Uh, and because we because we knew that actually that Dinosaur Jr. was playing that night in in London, and we're like, if we get there early, we can go and see Dinosaur Jr. in London. How cool is that going to yeah. be? And um, so the, the train would have been like awesome. We should <laughs> once, once again we should have sort of thought like, well, if they need as much more money, we'll just splurge and do yeah. it right now. <laughs> so um, uh, and and um, and the the Dinosaur Jr. show was even on the BBC. Oh wow! And and so like we're driving, and he's got like he's got the radio on and stuff, and um, and they, and and all, the guy said like you know next on BBC Four is a live show from Dinosaur Junior at the Hammersmith or whatever it was you know right. and, and Mark and I are like yeah and the guy's <laughs> like oh to hell with this stuff and he turns the radio and like we're like oh. <laughs> those are friends of ours oh that's that's not music right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. now Elvis yeah. Elvis yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. how about some Carl Perkins right exactly <laughs> okay all right. um, you're driving so I guess yeah yeah. And then we um, uh, and we, we had uh, uh, it worked out that we were gonna stay with um, this guy that we knew who was this like questionable skinhead guy from Denver mm-hmm. who was in London doing a cooking degree um, and his girlfriend um, uh, at her at his girlfriend's house and um, and they were just the nicest folks. Mm-hmm. Remember, uh, um, uh, Sip- oh, I have her, I got her name in here someplace. Um, uh, um, and her her parents were just like her, I mean, her dad was around, but her mom was this French woman who was just like, of course, come and stay with us, great. <laughs> and we stayed there, and um, I remember we walked around uh, with them to like like crazy parts of of London. We saw uh, we walked by Ian Stewart from Skin. Oh, from, really? <laughs> from from uh, Screwdriver, and I remember thinking like. He's really short. <laughs> he is really short. You know, we can kick his Maybe butt. he's hating the wrong people. He should be hating <laughs> all people instead yeah, of the yeah, yeah, bullying yeah. complex. Like, yeah, you know, but it's fine. Um, and um, uh, we hung out there. I can't. What else did we do in London when we were there? Record shopping. Record shopping. Yeah. 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 Record shopping. yeah. And, and, we, and I, I do remember too that we that we also Carnaby Street. Carnaby Street. We, yeah. bought, we both bought bondage pants. Yeah. And and that but it was the only clean clothes we had, so we we ended up writing. The airplane back from yeah. London to Boston, wearing bondage pants, like, <laughs> you know, and like the, I mean, the fact that we just did that, like, they, they weren't like, you know, right. I mean, well, it must have gone through some sort of metal detector, but like, right. I mean, the whole thing was just like hoops and zippers, zippers and, like, yeah. you know, um, oh my gosh, that was that was funny. Um, and what else? But did, did we do anything else in London? I just remember just walking around a lot with those guys. Um, yeah, I remember. I don't remember. I don't think we saw anything like shows or anything like that. I know we went to a lot of record stores because. Like I said, I had to buy a supplemental bag. Yeah. See, to, now, to if you had gone to Morocco records. and got that leather right. bag, <laughs> you yeah. could have like this, this rectangular <laughs> cotton bag that I, it was like I got at a, um, like an Army Navy store yeah, or something yeah. like that yeah. and put a cardboard box into it because oh, nice. I bought probably 50, 60, 7 inches yeah. you know, along, the, along the trip, yeah. which I'm lugging around. Right. And it's like, you jerk. What are you doing? <laughs> Buying records on a backpacking trip. Like, I will never see this record ever again. So I Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Corinne Sinclair. That's, that's yep. It. There we go. Yep. There you go. Um, but I think they lived in like Bloomsbury or something, so it was like a nice, a nice area. Yeah. Um, but of course, you know, we were looking for, you know, the, the the fascinating London that we had heard yeah. about. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm sure we just walked down Oxford Street. And, yeah. Right. And I remember Carnaby Street with you and yeah. yeah. It was it was funny it, it, and it was you know sort of you know being the, the Amer- an American punk rock kid going like all right. Like here we are, England, yeah. punk rock, and and just kind of going like, oh, there's like nobody, you know, <laughs> hardcore hadn't really, you know, made it there yet, right. and you know, punk was already sort of passe, and you're just yeah. kind of going like, ah, huh, wow, that's strange, <laughs> you know, it's only it was only ten years, only ten years ago that like yeah. it was it was it was it it was the thing, you know, and that's and, crazy, um, yeah, and of course you know we looked like you know, goofballs in like our <laughs> slap shot jackets, you know, we didn't necessarily look punk, but it was, right. Uh, um, uh, it, was a, it was a funny scene. It was a, fu- it was a funny thing to kind of like. I think we kept walking around going like, "Where did Johnny rot?" 
Right. Right. Yeah. Where, where is you know where where you know where did where did Sig grow up? Where are those you yeah. know where, where did the Clash live? Like all yeah. that, all that sort of stuff that yeah. you know that t- that today if you go to New York you can have like former New York hardcore. Oh yeah, folks John Joseph get, does those do tours, and tours and stuff. And stuff yeah. You know, Drew, yeah. which you know you kind of go, oh, all right, yeah, yeah. you know, um, we did a yeah. So it's but it was it was it was great, and I, I think the thing that. Um, you know, I mean, we've both been on tour before, and the willingness of people to put you up, you yeah. know, like asking from the stage, could someone put us up tonight? Like, yeah. And that, like, that willingness of people to do the same thing who aren't even punk rock. Yeah. You know, you kind of go, oh, right. Yeah. Right, right. You know, it's, and you, and you kind of say, like, was it the 80s? Was it sort of like the, this, uh, this leftover from the, you know, openness of, from the 60s and 70s of the hippie movement that had done that? Or that, you know, was it this, you know, the, the, um, that allowed folks to just to feel like they could um, uh, open their homes to, mm-hmm. to, right. to the stranger. Which yeah. was such a, um, a big thing. And we got back in time for Thanksgiving. Yeah, right. You know, and I, and I think both of us spent our, our days, you know, on Thanksgiving, like telling our telling our parents what we, who we saw and yeah, you know course. that Vinny that Vinny's a liar about his you know. It was great. It was a, such a great and important thing, and and. Um, I mean, it was one of the things. I mean, one of the reasons why I always love love to travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and you went back with Slapshot, both both of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ninety one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a few years later, mm-hmm. and that was the first time you had both been back there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that was obviously different because of schedule and you had schedule. You know, it was interesting too is that you know when we were there backpacking, you know, you kind of we were certainly looking around for people, you know, yeah. reading NME or you know, right. Um, uh, um, International. What was the name of that newspaper? Or the oh yeah, the Herald International. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, right. right. Oh, you're, yeah. You're, you read English as well. You speak English as well. Um, and um, uh, um, that that uh, you know, and, and you'd hope you'd meet somebody. But when you're on tour, like the people that you'd kind of hope to meet are going to come to the show. And yeah. you're like, great, you know. Yeah, so yeah. you know, made all these other connections with folks, yes. which was which was great. Yeah. You know, and yeah. that was um, you know, I mean, and, and uh, I mean, we're talking about the two guys from Yugoslavia. You know, we, Slapshot played three shows in Yugoslavia when it was yeah. still Yugoslavia, like mm-hmm. I don't know, six months, seven months before the Civil War started. Yeah, and you know, definitely one of those things you, you kind of go like, I wonder where those two guys are. You yeah, know, today, you know, after after all that, the horrors of that war. And yeah, did they make it through it? And, right, that's and, what I was going to ask. So you you said some of these people you've stayed in touch with. Mm-hmm. Uh, were there many people on this that you stayed in touch with at all? I mean, certainly there's there certainly the people that that we sort of knew beforehand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and um, uh, people, I mean, you know, it's funny. I still have that guy, um, uh, uh, his address, and I, you know, I've certainly like, you know, I, I did it before, and I've, and I've done it more recently too. Gone back in and sort of looked at people up on Facebook to sort yeah. of say like, oh yeah, Marshall Jansen, I think became a promoter in, mm-hmm. in, in Belgium, oh, wow. you know, yeah, uh, a club promoter, and um, uh, and you know, some other stuff, you get other people, you know, and it's certainly when we went back with Slapshot. We stayed, really, you know, in, in close contact with a lot of those folks. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. uh, in part because you're just, you know, we, we, we toured with a bunch of them, and um, uh, and and which has which has been fun to sort of yeah. go back and, and visit and visit with them. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, you know, follow each other's kids on Instagram, that yeah. sort of stuff. Right? Yeah. Um, but it, um, uh, but it is, you know, and, and certainly there are certainly those people you kind of go, oh yeah, I wish, you know, I, I would love to know what happened to those two guys from Yugoslavia, yeah. or, you know, or Willie from Willie, Australia, yeah, you know. Yeah. Who you know gave us the advice of like don't don't bum out just like go climb the mountain right like, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good you know and um, yeah it, it is but just you know it, just that that sense of like oh, the world is full of people who you know have yeah. to welcome you in and chat yeah and, have and, I, and I think like the you know this uh, podcast is called talk about the passion and I think this this is a perfect episode for this because it, you know and, and I think this definitely shaped you guys who you are yeah. just. And it's you know shows the importance of traveling, especially like around the world and mm-hmm. seeing different cultures and, and different people. So I think that's yeah. But I think you know, you know and, and I think also just being open to talking to people yeah. even here. I think that's, yeah, that's, exactly. that's the other thing too. You know, yeah, you bring it back here because yeah. especially nowadays, you know, people close people off from different cultures and you know with this as we know very well and see we didn't know the, the politics of anything yeah people. yeah so it's yeah. just if someone's a good person we're into at all yeah. communists yeah right yeah. that's still a thing yeah, right so we you know, we had a relationship with these guys who were like oh you're communist okay yeah yeah we're from boston 
So right, yeah, yeah, right. What do, what do we know, communists? They break sinks from walls. Yeah, <laughs> right. That, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they primal scream at night. I mean, I don't know what to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it did help to me to, um, you know, it, it opened my eyes a lot to, yeah. you know, future, um, you know, trips and and, um, you know, I've I've always been a, a friendly, outgoing kind of guy, but this was this was very new to me. Yeah, you know? yeah. I think Slapshot had been cross country, I think twice by the time right. we, yeah. we took yeah, this yeah. trip. Yeah. So, but again, you know, you're just immersing yourself in a different state. Right. And people come to see you because they yeah. want to see your band. So yeah. you've got that, Those are the only people you've already you see. got that relationship, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, but when you're, you know, meet Moroccans on the train and they want you to come to where they live, yeah. it's, it's <laughs> different yeah. stuff. My, my yeah. address book has like four different addresses for those people in Morocco too. That's amazing. Oh. Yeah. 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 God. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can go back sometime and, you know. Okay. Maybe we have to go back sometime yeah. just to get out of here. Um, <laughs> I know. You might remember this. 30 years ago, you said you could come to Morocco and that thing only cost $4. Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Oh, well, that bag is like appreciated to $6 yeah. at this point. Know, so. Right, right. right. Yeah. And uh, I'm here with my wife and children. And we're on the <laughs> so put us up. Yeah. Is there a exactly. deal to get four bags? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hand tool leather. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just looking through other stuff here, but yeah, no, just a a um, uh, a great um, uh, yeah, just a great trip. And and you know, some of it you kind of go, oh, I was young, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. And um, but also just what a what a wonderful um, uh, well, I mean, also just I think I've just really tightened Mark and my relationship too. Of just yeah. you know, kind of folks that you just hang out with, which, yeah, which is you know. Uh, as, uh, you know, as you grow up, and there's you know, the people you work with, and the people you live with, and your family and friends, right? And you get tired of folks, but like, man, we weren't tired of each other at all. It was yeah. really great, you know. Yeah. So that must have helped, like, with touring with the band too, because I imagine when you're stuck in a band with a van with five guys, you know, people are gonna butt heads a little. Or did, did you guys? Yeah, you know, uh, Slapshot was always funny that yeah. like we yeah. really got along. Yeah. We were yeah. like friends, which yeah. was you know, I've toured with other bands. Yeah. And and there are definitely people you're like tension. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're doing that again, yeah. or like, oh, they accepted. Right. Him into, you know, yeah. One time on, on tour with, with the Straw Dogs, we played some place, and the club owner was like, um, oh, "I'm sorry, we didn't make enough money at, at the door, but I can, um, uh, I can make the difference up in acid." And I was like, <laughs> "I was like, no way!" And the rest of the guys were like, "Yeah!" And I was like, oh. <laughs> "Which then I had to babysit them for right. that night." But, you know, yeah, those sort of things. You know, that, yeah. that'll, that'll be another episode. Yeah, yeah, of, of course. Uh, of, that will, that will do. Yeah, um, yeah. Of, of, of my, my touring, touring experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you know, but you know, I, I mean, and I'm still friends with the guys in the, in the, from the, the FUs and Straw Dogs. But, yeah, of um, course. But uh, definitely other people that you're like, oh man, yeah. oh no, I'm, I don't be the babysitter. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I was in, I was I was once approached by the guys in that like California band Doctor No. Oh yeah. They're like Mystic Records. Band. Right. Yeah, yeah, Mystic yeah. Records. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. The um uh and they were um. Uh, they're like, oh, our, our roadie quit. Uh, you know, I hear that your roadie would do. You want to come with us? And I was just like, I don't know these guys. You're right. I don't want to like. They're yeah. partiers. I don't. I like. Yeah, yeah. I was like, no, I'm really sorry. Let me give you somebody else's phone. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, right. But like, not, not me. Like, yeah. Really? Of course. Like, yeah, no, no. yeah. They're not me. So, because um, yeah, they would just suck. Yeah. You know? I mean, they're, 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 they were paying like real money. I'm mean, going like, I'll pay two fifty a week, and I was like, wow. Like, yeah. You know, because Slapshot we always just kind of like split the money. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we pay the entry entry fee to the um, uh, the amusement parks that we That's go right. to. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. This, yeah. I think I remember pictures of you guys at Disneyland. Choke oh, with that was Winnie the Pooh or something. Yeah. 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 I think that was pro- I think that that was during Slapshot, but not with the the band. I think he was there with Jenny. Oh okay. Um, when that was happening. No, no, no. We were played. At, we played, We were in Florida, and we had a day off, and it was uh, do we either um, go to this tattoo convention. Or go to Disney World, and we were like, oh, <laughs> Disney, World. Disney World, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember that yeah. at all. Yeah, oh yeah. my gosh! Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was a uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that photo was there. Great. Right. I, just, I, just, I saw it in your book when you were flying yeah, through the yeah, other yeah, night. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that could be another whole episode. Maybe we can get the whole band or oh, something. And, it's, like, oh my and, gosh, and yeah. it's it's so much fun doing this. Yeah. You know, because you know we've been interviewed for like you know in like documentaries and all that stuff but it's always like just one on one slap shot right and just, which is, and, right yeah and which is great but like getting us all together because the things that we forget and yeah it's easy to bounce off things, each other and, and remember just, stuff and also just we're just like this is just fun and yeah. like and like, there's the thing about slap shot too it was always fun yeah at the end of the even day even when like you know 
somebody like tried starting a fight and like it was, it was a huge riot. We had to like run out of there yeah. sort of thing. Like still, you know. Yeah. Ah, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> when I threw the drumstick and put that girl's eye out in Berlin. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's what they they told me. Yeah. They told me I did that. It didn't. It didn't happen. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, or in in, uh, in Sarajevo, we went at this huge barroom brawl, um, which is a whole amazing story. But we, um, but the, I just remember the club owner going, um, "You should leave with pl- before the police come. You don't want to be here when the police come." And yeah. we're like, "Oh, you're right. All right, let's go. All right, go." <laughs> suggestion. Yeah. 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 Right, right. <laughs> we can, we cannot reason with the Sarajevo police, right? No, <laughs> probably not. Yeah. Ooh. But um, but yeah. thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks yeah. Thanks for doing this, guys. No I problem. Definitely appreciate it. I this is. Uh, again, uh, you know, Hank brought up things I had completely forgotten about. Yeah, yeah. So, Same here with Mark. Yeah, yeah. nice. So it was really cool to uh, you know fill in some of those gaps. And we and, we, we, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out my 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 photos too. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I think I, we're like I think Chris is, Chris will need to start uh, a um, uh, a web page just yeah, for yeah. our yeah, for, right. yeah, yeah. For our, our trips. <laughs> and, um, right. And if anybody who uh, um, had been uh, a manager of Anthony Bourdain, you know, uh, we, Mark and I are willing to fill yeah, yeah. in the gap. Yeah. We've, we've been talking about oh, yes. this. We've got, we've got plans. We're the new no the reservations. Gap, yeah. You know? Definitely. Exactly. We'll, we'll do it cheaper than him, but you know, yeah, this but is a better, good, but better. It was way better. Right? <laughs> designated drinker. We'll Designate. we'll have a designated drinker. There you go. In each, in each, each nation we go to. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks guys. Thank you.